Okay, let's fix this leaky bum. Let's see if it makes any difference. I love the fact this thing is wrapped up like Fort Knox. Like, like this is a baby and this is some kind of armored car, but the baby's dead because it leaks. That's funny. So you pull this side of the cover, this flips over, this flips up, and then this bolt that's here in the top comes out and your cover comes off. Okay, I'm Dave, I'm sick. So I sound like a fool. Maybe I sound tough. From the Pinnet channel. Now we have access to our dude. If you flip this little thing, it's unplugged. And then this little guy has more clips in it. Pull the sides away and your sensor comes up. And there's the problem though, is this little O-ring in this soft rubber area. So that's why that they won't seal. Also being at a horrible angle, you know, like we told before, um, you know, this already has goo all around it. If your bike's going up like this, all things can run back into this small area, get into this membrane and make this thing go wacky. So with ours sitting up and down like this, uh, yeah, you can do anything you want and it won't get the junk in it and it will last much longer and chance of failing is very limited. Now we need to take this thing off because we're going to replace it. So you have this clamp here and you've got to get this off. So there's a little tang down here where it folds over. Here the screwdriver's pointing at it right here. So normally I grab this tang with these dudes and squeeze it and they come together and it starts to peel off and then I can peel it away. Let's see if that works. If I can get to it, grab it on the sides, squeeze, there we go. Cool, the baby popped right off. I'm gonna get a screwdriver underneath where the rubber meets the cylinder right here. And yay, I'm free. Let's replace. Okay, we have the masterpiece here with us now. Assembly time. I always put a little clear RTV silicone around here at the O-ring. You do not use the little foam piece that comes on these things stock. Plunk the two together and that's it. Tighten it up with a screw. Put it together and to give you this cute little clamp to secure it to the cylinder. Let's see if it works. Good news, everybody. In the crankcase pressure sensor holder, ours is alive and well and in place. Let's check our pressure. Dig it. It's holding seven. Sweet. I'm gonna check vacuum just for fun, but I already did and that's good too, so. Hey, now we have a solid bike. Now we can get to work making our bottom end monster. Well, you definitely know what you need first. Next, let's run it and see what power change was made.